What is up guys, Jared Campisi. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of the Custom Tuono series. You know the drill, we're customizing this Aprilia uh, Tuono 1100 factory, then we're giving it away when we're done. If you guys would like to help support these videos and be entered to win this bike, check out the Patreon page. It's always the first link in the description below. Uh, we're heading down to Santa Barbara Ducati. Today we're gonna be installing a $2,000 Brembo braking system on this thing. Uh, it's literally like a MotoGP derived technology. It's like World Superbike spec brakes, and it's gonna be amazing. I've never even put something like this on a bike before, so I'm really excited to see, one, how much weight it saves, and two, uh, how different it feels. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for this one. I hope you guys are too. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. So this is also my first time riding this bike. Well, one of the first times riding this bike since all of the upgrades we put on this thing, uh, the custom paint scheme looks absolutely phenomenal. I took it down to uh, Santa Barbara Cars and Coffee this past Sunday morning and I could not believe how many people were coming over and just like blown away by this bike. Uh, the carbon is now on it. We got all the carbon on it. We still have to do the uh, Brembo master brake uh, cylinders up top here and the grips and the levers and all that. And uh, the bar end mirrors, but the, uh, the, the full titanium Acura system has broken in really well. It's getting louder, the packing is breaking in. Um, it sounds absolutely ridiculous. The bike is absurd with the freaking, the carbon wheels and all the upgrades we've done. It's, it's, it's a really a special, a special project. We've, we've estimated we've shaved about 35 pounds so far off of this build uh, with some more weight savings to come. And uh, yeah, you can, you can tell guys, this is, it's it's a street fighting beast dude like it's just look at this shit <laughs> i gotta turn that wheelie control off man it won't even let me use the damn throttle i'm out of here like this thing is just it's absolutely phenomenal it's so comfortable and so sporty it's such a good bike and that v4 sound just oh man it's it's the best sounding motorcycle I've ever heard. I hope, I wish it came through better on uh, on camera, but uh, I try to do the best that I can. So anyway, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my ride. I'll catch you guys down at Ducati shop. All right, so we arrived down to the Ducati shop. I got everything laid out that we're gonna be installing today. Uh, keep in mind, you can get all of this from Manny at Moto Million, and you can use discount code CAMPEASY to save yourself some money. Highly, highly recommend them. He's awesome, and they have some insane, insane parts, and that's why we work with them. So. Uh, like I said, braking system setup, all of this stuff, guys, is over like $2,500. So is this needed for the street? No. But is it always better to have better brakes? Why not, you know? So um, these right here are the Brembo T-Drive um, rotors. They're lighter, they give you more braking power and less braking fade. They're absolutely stunning. Like, look at that. They're some of the best street legal braking or brake rotors you can get. Um, to go along with those are these Brembo GP4X, I don't know, something or other, I'll put it up on the screen, uh, calipers. They're nickel plated, uh, they're lighter, it's a single piece of monoblock aluminum that they uh, sketched that out of. It has crazy uh, floating um, pads in there that allow for better braking and less fade and better heat transfer and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I think these are by themselves like $1,500 just for these freaking calipers. It's freaking insane. Um, we're gonna be using pro titanium bolts for all of the bolts that go up to hold these on. Um, saving, you know, little, little tiny amounts of weight, but it's just really cool. They look really nice. They come with the Loctite on there, which is super cool. And then the last thing we'll be installing today are the um, brake cooling, uh, Brake, the brake coolers for the rotors, which is super cool. Again, not really needed for the street, but if you have it, why not put them on? And I think they look super cool too. So everything we're gonna be installing today, again, Manny at Moto Million. Hit him up if you guys want any of this stuff. Let's get to work. All right, so he's got it up on a front stand here. We're gonna start by removing the front wheel and then go from there. All right, so before he actually removes the wheels, um, he's gonna bleed all of the brake fluid out of there. Um, because he's obviously taking the calipers off. So, uh, what are you gonna do? Unhook this so you can get air to off. Taking the cap off and then we'll bleed all of it out. Make sure we get it all out of the reservoir so nothing's dripping all over. So you're gonna suck it out of the reservoir first and then from down there? All, either way. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, look at that. He's got a uh, air pump to suck out all the uh, fluid. That's pretty awesome. You can see it's a vacuum bleeder. Vacuum bleeder, there we go. 
you can see it uh, if it'll focus. There you go, slowly coming out. So you can just suck it all out from there. Yeah. Oh wow. That's that's good. Good. Pull it all out of lines and everything. That's awesome. Yeah. And then it, bleeding, it's gonna is that gonna be a bitch or no? It just takes a little more time with the ABS system. Okay. Because this has ABS. Yeah. All right. So one caliper is off. You can see how these look. So Brian, is this braking setup like? Is this something we'll actually notice? Oh yeah. For sure. Even on the road, right? You'll notice a difference. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And is is it more something for track? I mean, you're gonna notice the braking feel. We can upgrade it even further to make it better for the track. It, it would work on the track for sure, but so it's more of a street braking setup, right? That can be used on track. I mean, it's overkill for the street. Yeah. But yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But I I think brakes is one of the few things that you can't you can never have too much braking, right? But I agree with you. It is, it is probably overkill for the street, but there you go. Both calipers are off. I've never had a braking system that we're installing, installed like that before. So I'm really curious to see if I can tell a difference. Sure. Is it going to be like one finger, like very little pressure, that kind of thing? It's not going to take much because okay. that master cylinder also, we can adjust the pressure. Ah, nice. Yeah. So um, unfortunately, we're going to have to take this tail section off today to give it to the painter. Um, so I won't actually be able to test the brakes out until next week. And actually that works out well because we're going to be putting the Brembo Master on too. We can adjust everything. Maybe I'll let Brian take it for a ride first. <laughs> Make sure it works okay before I go over the handlebars. <laughs> so what are we doing next? Taking off the... Uh, Taking the pinch bolts off so we can get the wheel out. And then take the rotors off? Yeah. Cool. Alright, wheel coming off. Going to set this somewhere and pull these off. All right, so ABS sensors coming off and calipers as well. Rotors. Sorry, rotors. I, I don't know why I always confuse rotors and calipers. They're clearly different, oh. but I always do that. Look at that wheel, man. It's a shame that's so covered up, you know? Right. You don't even see that freaking thing. This will look good, though. So is that how it, And he said these aren't directional, so you can put them on either side. But if it was a racing bike, he said you'd mark which one, which side they're on and keep them on that same side. All right, so replacing all those stock bolts with the titanium bolts. Look at that. I don't know why, but I love little things like this, like little touches, awesome. you know? Yeah, when it's like full on titanium bolts and like badass setups, like it's like motorcycle porn, dude. It's as close as we can get once you get over like 30. There's nothing really to look forward to in life anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing I just noticed, Brian, he's doing like a star pattern as he tightens them down. So, for example, he will do that top one. Yeah, so he goes across, down, just like you would draw a star, like back when you were in elementary school or something like that. Little did you know, you were just training for becoming a master tech mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so other side is on, adding the uh, titanium bolts with the Loctite on there, and then torquing them down. So remember how we were, t Brian mentioned the other ones weren't directional. When they are directional, usually they'll be marked, so you can see how this one points to which way, which side it goes on, basically, and how it is attached. So there you go. That's pretty cool that they do that. These are these, these are uh, also a little bit thinner, 4.5 mil. The one we, we put on are 5 mil. Is that what they were, Brian? Yes. Yeah. So a little bit thicker. I guess it just gives you more grip, more braking power. So there's a there was a sticker that was on here. Nobody ever would have noticed this, but Brian said, "I'm gonna wipe that off." It's the little things, guys. You know. Treat it with care, it'll treat you good back until you run into the back of a car. <laughs> and your, and your, all your money is off the window. All right, so we actually did run into a snag here. Uh, Brian said we're not gonna be able to use these calipers with these lines. Um, you can see this banjo, where the banjo bolt goes through here. Um, it would have to be pulled way over like this, and it's just, there. this basically needs to be 90 degrees coming off of it. This one connects where it's sitting basically right there. So it's made to sit like that on this side. And then on these new calipers, it sits up here in the middle. So it's just gonna completely not work. So Brian's actually gonna have a custom set of lines made for us so that we can continue to use these calipers because they look freaking awesome. So what we'll have to do is leave it how it is. The bike's gonna have be sitting here anyway because we have to take apart the rear tail section for paint. So in the meantime, we'll let it sit, sit here at the shop and we'll get those lines made and then we'll in, reinstall them when they come in. All right, so in the meantime, we're gonna take the tail section apart so we can give that to Alex the painter to finish off the paint scheme. Unfortunately, in order to do that, we have to take off the carbon pieces that we just installed in the last episode. But, you know, that's what we do to Brian. We just give him, we just make him put stuff on and take it off a million times. Yeah, at, least at, least, did it last time. at least you didn't put them on, exactly. you know? <laughs> All right, tail section coming off, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, gosh, thank God you didn't hit yourself in the eye, dude. Right. Holy hell. Oh, yeah, it, that's attached to the, uh, what's it called? 
see Paul. Yes, thank you. You should be doing this, Brian. No. You're in the wrong business. No. <laughs> Alright, so it has effectively been two weeks since the last clip that you just saw. Um, we had to have a custom set of lines built uh, by Spiegler and uh, Brian just test fitted them and verified that they in fact work. So we're heading back down to the Ducati dealer to finish up the Brembo brake install. Um, Christina and I are both ridiculously sick, thus the depression beard I'm currently rocking. <laughs> um, uh, I'm so sick, in fact, that I'm not going to be able to go to the S1000 RR track event this weekend, uh, which is a pretty big bummer because I just spent $1,200 worth on um, track gear that I, obviously I'll use in the future, but I was hoping to use it this week. Um, but uh, I did finally purchase the next build series bike uh, that is on its way to us as we speak, which is super exciting. Um, I was originally hoping to finish the Tuono build last month and give it away this month, but now it's going to be finished this month and given away in December. I'm hoping the first week or second week of December, and then we'll be on to the next build. The patrons already know what it is. It's going to be absolutely insane. Um, and then, of course, after that build, we're going to be doing the Street Fighter. So um, a lot of awesome stuff coming to the channel. Um, Thank you guys so much for bearing with me and let's go down and uh, get these damn lines installed and finish this brake installation video. Dear God, stay tuned. All right, so before we get started on brake stuff, um, I actually ordered matte carbon frame and swing arm covers um, because I couldn't see how the light was warping off of this. This was like the first thing you noticed when you looked at the bike. And so we were just kind of looking at them to see how it looks, the difference. And obviously it doesn't match, but it, it just kind of looks black and it makes it disappear, I think. So I'm thinking that we swap these out and it should hopefully let the paint scheme shine instead of making you see just like the, literally the frame covers and stuff. What do you guys think? What do you think, Tease? I, I like hate looking at this yeah. right away. It does yeah. look completely like different and stuff. yeah exactly it okay. looks like there's a bunch of dents and stuff right, in it exactly and when i look at the bike that's not the first thing i want right. to look at right here this will be better so from a distance like if you're standing five feet back it just looks black yes so i would prefer to have it this yes. and plus the weaving is completely different and if you're yes. up close it's really, it's really this looks it. crappy yeah so yeah. I mean, it's not crappy, but it's not. But it just either. looks like it, you know. So I think just go with the mat. I do it. Let, let me know what your thoughts. Obviously, the patrons. I think the patrons already decided they want mat, and I agree with them. So I think that's what we're going to do. But I'd like to hear what you guys think too. So here's our new brake line. Okay. It's going to feed all the way back from the ABS pump. Yep. Come all the way back through the front. We'll tee off here, okay. and then we'll have one independent line going to each caliper. Ah, okay. And this will still allow us to have ABS. Full well, ABS capability. Are they steel else. braided? Yep. And they're from Spiegler? Spiegler made them for us. So thank you, Spiegler. From Matthias. Yeah, and, and Brian um, for doing all this. Like I said, it's been about two weeks. Obviously, it, there's other things going on. But um, yeah, so um, you're going to start to install those. I yeah, don't think it's got to feed all underneath the wiring harness, everything else come out the radiator, and then we'll have to bleed the whole system all over. So here. I think what we'll do is we'll show you just maybe doing the master cylinder here. Okay. If you want to do that, and then so. I'll let you do all this, because then he's got to put the bike somewhat back together. I just don't know how interesting this is for people to see. It's pretty boring. <laughs> yeah. It's my life, but it's yeah. it's boring, but it's yeah. my life. So um, yeah, I don't, I don't want these videos to be too long, and we just want this build, I want this build to be done. I have the next bike coming already, so. Um, yeah, we'll let, uh, what do you want to do? Want to move on to this guy then? Yeah, we'll Take start, this apart. I'll break that apart, and then okay. we'll, we already got the new ones in here. Oh yeah, sweet. So, uh, RCS 17 Brembo Master from Manny at Moto Million. Obviously, you can always use code CAMPEZ to save yourself some money. Uh, they make, this is like one of the best parts. They're, are they racing parts, or are they still street parts? Yeah, no, they're, they're made more for racing. Okay, so yeah, so more than you need for the street, but again, the whole build is more than you need. That's kind of the whole point of it. So, uh, and again, this is all so that we can use these uh, GP nickel plated Brembo calipers and the Brembo T drive rotors, which look freaking ridiculous. Um, so we also have uh, Brembo uh, clutch lever, which will match the uh, RCS lever, Brembo lever on the RCS side, which looks phenomenal. And then we also got these guys here, light tech chain adjusters. I don't even know when we're going to be putting this stuff on, but um, yeah, it's going to look freaking awesome. So we'll probably do this whenever we do the carbon in the next episode, but all kinds of stuff. We finally have everything, everything for the build. Thank God. 
All right, so we're just unhooking the old brake line there. We're gonna try and pour brake fluid all over the new paint? Yeah, let's pour brake fluid on this. Fuck this bike. <laughs> oh my god, I almost knocked this off. See? Oh, and you're gonna I, I should not be doing too. anything right now except sleeping in bed. There it is. Look at that. That's a lot easier than this side, huh? Yeah. You don't have to take the whole freaking thing apart. No. Everything should be clamped on. That's ridiculous. All right. Brembo RCS 17. 17 going on. How do you know where to put that? Oh, we'll fit it to where it's comfortable for you. Oh, okay, cool. I'm just gonna put it on right now. Dude, just that to get everything looks so on. nice. I'm so excited. Uh, so attaching the banjo bolt. She's grinning. And then, me. I don't know if you guys heard, but our TV show that we were on. It's no longer on TV, but now you can binge watch the entire it, season. It got canceled after three episodes. <laughs> <laughs> this we is knew, why we do YouTube. Well, we knew that was coming before we even started filming the show, but. Um, yeah, binge who watch has it. Cable. Amazon. Yeah. YouTube, well, I'll put a link to the to the show. Paramount's website. I'll put a link to Paramount's website where you can binge watch the show for free, um, which is awesome because now you can all watch it and root for us and you can see how we did and all that. So they're waiting ten. Minutes. I'll put a link to it since cable like is it's pretty dying. much dead. Yeah, I don't know why they they thought to do it. it. Should have been a Netflix special from the beginning. I said that from the beginning. Anywho, go watch it after you watch this. <laughs> also, I can't remember if I showed you guys this or not, but Alex painted the rear tail section. Look at how incredible that looks, dude. So, black and red, and it has the 1100 factory. Again, this is actually painted. stenciled, painted, painted on, so no stickers on the entire bike. That looks so good. I can't wait to put this thing back together. Oh, God, if Brian would get his life together, you know? He's just so slow. God, he's just terrible. He's mechanic. a terrible mechanic. He's Don't mechanic. tell him. Don't tell him we said anything. <laughs> this is just to check and see if Brian watches our videos. That's all this, this is for. His wife does, so props to you. Uh huh, yeah. <laughs> all right, what's going on, Brian? So, we're going to use this generic mount from a Ducati for <laughs> a, uh, a brake or a clutch master cylinder reservoir. And we're just going to have to cut it down a little bit and mount it bend this down so we can mount the the reservoir for it yeah so these are race parts you know so they're not necessarily made to be used with yeah all the street, street stuff, stuff. So. Um, and I told him just make sure he mounts this as low as possible and then he's gonna black this all out and make it look as, as nice as we can um, the nice thing with using this is obviously it's gonna give us more feel and we have some adjustment right between yeah. how, how we want it to initial the initial bite of the brakes and everything right. like that and they're gonna play really well with these calipers so it might not technically look as good well this does but the uh, What's it called? Mount. The reservoir might not look as good sitting there, but it's gonna be it's gonna be worth it, I think. So, uh, we're not gonna show all this. I'll show you guys when he's done because it's just too much. It's gonna be too long. We have to get this done yes. this month. So, okay, cool. All right. So now that we're gonna actually keep these calipers on for good, once he does the brake lines, we're gonna put the um, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Most we're gonna put the, the brake the brake cooling uh, ducts on there uh, carbon fiber again for Manny and Moto Million I actually love these uh, they look cool but they also do provide some cooling on the road maybe you're probably not gonna notice but on the track definitely if you're pushing hard that will help uh, reduce brake fade and keep those calipers nice and cool even though these calipers already do stay really nice and cool that's kind of the whole point of nickel plated design but uh, yeah I'll show you what they look like when they're done all right, so the uh, nickel-plated Brembo calipers are officially installed. The Brembo T-Drive rotors are installed, and the brake cooling carbon ducts are installed. Um, I'm gonna let Brian do the whole lines and the rest of uh, this situation on his own. I'm sick as balls, so is Christina. We're gonna go home and relax. Uh, next week, we will replace these guys, and then the bike will officially be back together, and we will be choosing a winner in December at the Ducati shop, I promise you that. So if you guys want to be signed up to win this bike, check out the Patreon page. It's always the first link in the description below. If you enjoy what we're doing here on the channel, uh, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up button. That helps us out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.